Our first edition of Top Plays of the Week kicks off on Thursday night at Niles. Red Dragons taking on Hallen. Off a Niles score, William Hines gets the ensuing kickoff, fields it at the 10, breaks to the outside, tiptoes the sideline, keeps his feet, and he's gone. 90-yard kick return touchdown for Hines. That's going to be good enough for number five, and more from this game coming up later. To Western Pennsylvania for number four, Hickory hosting Sharon Tigers quarterback Lane Voidick throwing a long ball down the middle of the field. This one's going to be tipped a few times, and Matt Canone comes comes away with the pick. One more look, Canone from his back, keeping his eye on it, snags the INT. Great concentration from Canone gets him number four, and Hickory a win Friday night. Back to Ohio for number three, East Palestine hosting Gerard Indians quarterback Andrew Del Garbino rolling to the near side, slings one to Jimmy Jones. He's held from behind, breaks the tackle, nearly falls, stays on his feet, then hits the outside and turns on the Jets. Speeds to the end zone for the score. Jones' escapability and speed get him top play number three. A double shot at number two, South Range hosting Springfield in overtime. Tigers down three, Bo Brungard back to throw. Pressured, escapes, nearly falls, but stays on his feet. Then check this out, breaks a couple of tackles down inside the four yard line. Very next play, David Duval is gonna scoot in from four yards out to win it for Springfield. Brungard and Duval team up for number two as Springfield bested South Range Friday night. Back to Niles for number one, Red Dragons on the move. Quarterback Zach Leonard keeps it himself and watch him bounce like a pinball off defenders. Refusing to go down, leaves six Tigers in his wake, rumbles in from 10 yards out. The Red Dragons would get the win and Leonard's escapability gets him our top play for week number one.